Around the turn of the 19th century, the only practical way to ship agricultural goods to and from the western United States territories was by the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi River was controlled by the city of New Orleans, which in turn was controlled by Spain and later by France. President Thomas Jefferson was worried that the United States might someday lose the right to use the port, and in 1801 he sent Robert Livingston to Paris to buy the port and the city. Livingston came home empty-handed. Jefferson enlisted the help of French expatriate Pierre Samuel de Pont in the negotiations, and by the time Livingston returned to France with James Monroe in 1803, Napoleon, contemplating war with Great Britain and abandoning plans for a North American empire, was ready to sell. The American delegation was prepared to spend $10 million for the city of New Orleans, but it was dumbfounded when offered the entire Louisiana Territory for just $5 million more. And so 530 million acres, including all of what would become the state of Oklahoma, were added to the United States at just about three cents an acre. Of course, nobody told the Indians, who inhabited just about all of that land, and over time, the Louisiana Purchase cost the United States much more as it was bought again from those tribes. And the men responsible for adding Oklahoma to the U.S. did pretty well for themselves. James Monroe became the fifth president. Robert Livingston, with his nephew Robert Fulton, invented the first viable steamboat. And back-channel negotiator Pierre Dupont founded one of the country's oldest surviving companies and consequently one of America's wealthiest families. I'm Charles Newcomb with Centennial Stories.